Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be going over the new integration between VCAD and the uh, Forge Viewer. The workflow will be the same as what we're used to. So we'll simply upload a file. Here we have a Revit file ready to go. We simply have to select it and proceed. Now we give it some information, so a label and an external ID. And the important thing here is we use the use forge option. This will tell VCAD that when using this file, it needs to also be utilizing the new forge viewer. Now we can upload the file. Of course, in this case, we're using a Revit file, but this will also be possible with an IFC file. Once the uploading is complete, the file will be uh, processed using the Autodesk services. Now here on the bottom, you can see these new job credits uh, information. These are uh, credits that will be used to access the Autodesk services. This is because Autodesk requires a fee to do the extractions and the uh, processing of the files. Therefore, uh, we will be implementing these sort of uh, token credits. Now, due to this, to these fees, the Forge integrations will not be available during, during the trial version of VCAD, but users who have a full account will be able to purchase these um, token credits, which have the same value as what is required by Autodesk for their extractions. And they will be able to spend these tokens in order to uh, convert the files. Differently, uh, users who already have a Forge account will be able to link up their, uh, the Forge app they're using and do the uh, processing of the files through that. Uh, so by skipping the need of the token credits. Now the file is being processed and it's ready to go. So we can proceed with the preview of the file. So if we go here on the top left, we select preview. Now we can see uh, we will have the new Forge viewer and the Revit file that we have uploaded. We can make sure that the processing went correctly, that all the geometries are correct, and that everything looks right before we go further on. Now let's go back. And as always, we have the possibility to download a Power BI template. Here we are using the Forge uh, Assets Detail template. Of course, we will be rolling out the other Power BI templates that we have created previously, and we will be integrating them with Forge, as well as uh, we will be able to have custom templates for users that uh, might require them. So here we go, the template is opening up. As always, the initial setup takes a little longer because we are doing the, we have to do the refresh of all the data, and actually set up the tables and link them together. It should be ready pretty soon. Okay. So now we have the uh, usual assets detail template that we're used to. We can see on the left, we have the assets information. So a list and the attributes. And on the right, we have the new Forge viewer. We can take a quick look around. Here we can see the list of assets and the attributes. They are linked together, of course. And we have all the new functionalities from the Forge viewer. For example, we can group by categories. We can see all the assets that we have, as well as all the other information and uh, <clears throat> functionalities that we're used to when using the Forge Viewer. Of course, here we can select an asset and we can see it highlighted in the viewer. That way we can start checking out all the uh, actual information in our model and then connect it to other Power BI views. Also here we have the linked attributes for the asset. Thanks for watching.